Oh my god. It's so loud. What is even going on here? Where did you all come from? Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today I am here with a very, very old friend who has come to visit us and here he is, it's McDuck everyone. Now most of you probably don't even remember this guy but he was one of the original characters from my very first set of mod reviews and he's here because he's brought along a few friends from the Mo Chickens mod for us to take a look at. So how are you doing buddy? It's been a long while, you're looking a little bit bigger, a little bit more vocal than before and it's nice, it's nice to see you back. Now Grim, I see you're looking at him, don't do it. Don't do it, buddy. Please don't do it. It's fine. We're all friends here. And Treyoris, I don't think you've seen our new friend McDuck. I think he's doing a bit of repairs on this button here. And yeah, you come see him. You come see him. It's okay. Don't be too scared. Oh, fine. Fine. It's fine. So yeah, introductions out of the way. We need to go and look at some more chickens. Now, this is a really cool mod. And they've all been cooped up in here. Yes, bad joke. But anyway, they've all been cooped up in here. They're probably going to be pretty angry because these are all hostile mobs. But don't worry, you can tame them and they are very, very useful once tamed. Now, there is a chicken for every ore in your Minecraft world. So we have the coal chicken, the iron chicken, the gold chicken, the lapis chicken, the redstone chicken, the emerald chicken, and also finishing off with the diamond chicken. Now, we're going to spawn one of each of these in and see how they react to us because they can be quite aggressive, as I just mentioned, before they are tamed. And they have been on a very long journey to come and see us, so I can't really blame them. But we're gonna we're gonna kind of bring them in one at a time and see what they're going to do to us. So let's bring in the cold chicken first. He's a nice black kind of chicken. He's only got four health, and when he attacks, he will do um, half a heart of damage, and he will also give us slowness two for seven seconds. So please back off now. You're a bit scary. You're a bit scary. We're just gonna slay him down. There we go. Slay him down beautiful. So we're going to just take them down one by one and then we're going to spawn more in and then show why you'd even want these in your Minecraft world because for one they're just going to hurt you to be honest. They are just going to hurt you but then they do have another useful use. So let's bring on in the iron chicken. He is kind of looking like a normal chicken but he's got like a bit of a goldy kind of texture I guess. It's a little bit um, more cream than white. So this is the iron chicken has six health. Will do one heart of damage and wow he poisons you. Oh that's fast. Oh god that's fast. Please don't let me die. Not today. Not today, please. Not by a chicken either. Jesus, he was a bit aggressive. I didn't expect him to be that aggressive. You need to watch out for those ones. Not only do they look like normal chickens, but they will poison you and try to try to kill you. That was a bit offensive. I, I was not a fan of that. But anyway, let's move on to the next one. And this one is the gold chicken. And this one's nice and yellow. Very cute. And um, has eight health. And when attacked... You will gain, oh Jesus, you will gain blindness for 8 seconds. So this guy is also a bit aggressive. These do drop eggs, by the way. I don't think normal chickens drop eggs, so that's quite an interesting feature. I'm pretty sure these eggs will only spawn normal chickens, but yeah, the gold chicken will give you blindness for 8 seconds. Moving on up, and we've got the lapis chicken, which is obviously bright blue. He only has 4 health, so we're going down again. But he does a little bit more damage and will give you slowness again. So how much? No, Grim. Grim, oh, actually get him. Get him. <laughs> Jesus. I, I knew I needed some help from you at some point. You can you can kill this chicken, but not McDuck, okay? Just leave McDuck alone. If this satisfies your predatory actions, then that's fine. That is fine. Um, right, let's move on to the next one. The next one is the redstone chicken. It's really cool that you, like, leaped through the door and helped me there. That's really cool. So the redstone chicken, we have six health, and he's also a beautiful red color. And what are you going to do? Ow, he sets me on fire. He does give me speed, though, so it's kind of like a really... Uh, that's really cool. It's kind of like a cartoon. Help. Grim, help. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, Grim. Grim! Grim, will you just help me? Thank you. Thank you. I am going to die. Oh my god. Really? Really? I burnt to a crisp while fighting a redstone chicken. Okay, guys, we're back. That was a little bit embarrassing. Thank you, Grim, for killing that chicken. He had six health, was bright red, and hello? Hello, anyone coming in? No? Okay. <laughs> and we're going to move on to the next chicken, which is the Emerald Chicken. Now, this Emerald Chicken is bright green, so you cannot miss this guy. Has 16 health, and for a chicken, that is quite a lot. And what is he going to do? He's going to hit us and inflict us with nausea. I hate this effect so much. Go on, Grim, get him. It's okay. Oh, God. Don't, don't bat him towards me. That's what happened last time. Jesus. There we go. Well done, Grim. So he gives you nausea for about 8 seconds, which isn't too bad um, of a nausea effect, considering I hate that effect. It makes me feel so ill, but 
anyway, yeah, that is the Emerald Chicken. And finally, we have the Diamond Chicken, which has 20 health. That is pretty intense, about as much as a regular Minecraft mob has. And he will give you blindness and slowness. So this guy's going to bite you and then um, pretty much slow you down so that he can bite you even more. I can't see the destruction right. Ah! Oh my god, that's scary. No! Ow! Jesus, I thought Grim had killed him. Then he, he popped out of the darkness like a crazy, crazy fiend. But anyway, those are your chickens, and they will spawn randomly throughout your world. I would say the most dangerous ones, actually, was it the gold one that poisoned you and the redstone one, which sets you on fire because we died. We died. That's pretty pretty aggressive. Thank you, Grim. Here's a little pork shop for you. Now, I know what you're asking. Why on earth would we put these chickens into our world? Well, as you can see, they are all called the appropriate names for different Minecraft ores. And that is because you can tame them with the appropriate material. So, first off, let's just bring in a couple of these chickens. Let's bring in... Oh, God. I th how did I do that? Anyway, let's carry on. Let's grab some coal, some iron, some gold, and all of the rest of the materials. And these are the materials you can use to tame these chickens yes you can tame these he's still loving that steak by the way here comes the coal chicken let's tame him with a piece of coal and now he has tamed you but that doesn't mean he'll follow you around and stuff that just means he will not attack you and when you leave these chickens alone after they've been tamed they will actually lay instead of eggs they will lay the appropriate material that they're named after so now that i've tamed this coal chicken he will now lay coal every now and again so let's get a load of them in here let's spawn in this iron one tame him that one took like five iron so some of them are pretty greedy. Let's go for the gold chicken and tame him with gold. And then we've got the lapis one. Very beautiful and blue. There we go. And as you can see, this can be quite a useful um, thing to do. Because you can just get stuff um, not kind of overpowered. Because they only lay it as often as they do with eggs. But... Um, it just saves you going down and finding stuff like emeralds. That's pretty difficult to come across. Diamonds every now and again. If you need like a new diamond sword, you just need to wait for him to lay two diamonds. But just remember, they will consume these every time you want taming. Look at that. That was about six diamonds he wanted there. Very, very greedy. Very greedy little diamond chicken. But anyway, what you're going to do with these... Um, let's spawn in another diamond chicken, actually, because I want to test this out. So there we go. Let's just... Breed them up. And yes, you can breed these too. So if you right-click them again with the appropriate material used to tame them, right-click and then right-click another chicken that you've tamed. Move, chicken, please. There you go. And they will actually breed and make a brand new baby chicken. Breed. There we go. Go on, breed. And there we go. A beautiful little baby diamond chicken is born. And when that's grown up, it will start laying for you, which is, it's so cool. This is a really, really good idea for a mod. So you can do this with any chicken whatsoever. Let's try it with the gold ones as well. Um, we just need to tame this bad boy. Right click again with the appropriate material. Right click another one. They will start to breed. And then a baby chicken will come out. Not only are they really cute and you can have a absolute array and rainbow color of chickens on your farm, but you will get these amazing loots when they lay eggs so let's wait for a little bit and see how many of these things they will lay right then so we have had a lot of more chickens added in and yes Treyoros has just entered at the perfect time to find loads of chickens absolutely everywhere in his testing chamber but anyway what I wanted to show you was that um there's lots of chickens in here I added a lot more I tamed them all because they only lay when they're tamed I bred a few and we have a few items in here over there we've got some emeralds we've got some gold we've got some lapis so this is how they um lay their eggs they don't lay actual physical eggs they just straight up lay the item that they are to do with so so emerald chickens will lay emeralds. We've got redstone over here from the redstone chickens. We've got um, coal over here. It's very, very loud in here. My god, it's so loud. But anyway, we have some gold. And obviously, we don't have any diamonds just yet. Um, I'm surprised that we've got an emerald so far. That must have been from one of the original ones. But obviously, the more rare the ore, the more time it will take to actually lay the ore. So it won't take the normal time to lay an egg. And then you'll get, like, diamonds constantly. You have to wait a little bit of time. More than, say, like, the coal one. The coal one would be similar to a normal egg and then you need to wait more time for a diamond so this is pretty cool and there's one more feature i forgot to show you which is that there is a way to actually kind of control these chickens so say you want all of the coal chickens to follow you you just take a block of the ore that they're to do with so say you wanted all the coal ones take a block of coal and they will all follow you then we can get the emerald ones and the diamond ones as well so let's try this out let's hold what should we hold it wow what what was that noise 
Was it a diamond? It was a diamond. Did you hear that sound? That was amazing. It was like a shiny sound for a diamond. We got a diamond, everyone. So that wasn't too long, actually. It looks like you might get like one diamond per day from each one, which is pretty damn sweet. So let's grab some of the coal and the coal chickens will all follow me. Look at this. All the baby ones, all the little ones will come and follow me. Very nice. And then we'll go for the iron ones. Where are the iron ones at? Are there any iron ones around here? Yeah, here he is. There's only one. Um, there's a couple that are trying to follow me right now. This one... You're a diamond chicken, bro. What's wrong with you? And then we go for the emerald chickens, or the emerald chickens will follow me. And as they make their way over, they will follow me. We've got look, we've got diamonds, we've got emeralds. Oh my god, this is beautiful. And then we've got diamond chickens as well. So just use the appropriate blocks, the appropriate chickens, and they will all follow you. A very easy way to kind of control your chickens so you can either organize them in pens and stuff like that. So that is pretty much this mod, and it's very cool. Where is McDuck gone? Oh god, they're everywhere. Oh my god, it's so loud. Where are you, McDuck? McDuck, that's not you. How did you get in the floor? That is so random. Um, McDuck has disappeared. Is this you? No, I've just asked you. This isn't you either. Where, where is he? Where is he? McDuck. McDuck, where are you? Oh, another diamond has been born. That is beautiful. Where is... Is this... Oh, is this him? Here he is. He's made his way from there into here. Very clever. I need to clean this up. You're going to need a bigger minibus to take all these guys back. But thanks a lot for visiting again. This is awesome. I've introduced you to all the, the brand new members of Team TDM because you haven't been seen for a while. And now you've got a lot more people to take home with you. So thanks a lot for visiting. And that is pretty much what this mod has to offer. And if you like what you see and do want to play it for yourself, then please do head to the description below where you'll find a link to download this mod. Also, if you happen to be new to the channel, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy the video, a like would be greatly appreciated too. More diamond sounds. Look at this. There's diamonds absolutely everywhere. It's beautiful. Very clever mod. And if we could hit 10,000 likes for this video again, that would be absolutely incredible. Thanks for all your continued support. Thanks a lot for watching again, guys. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye! <laughs>Oh my god, it's so loud. What is even going on here? Where did you all come from? Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today I am here with a very, very old friend who has come to visit us and here he is. It's McDuck everyone. Now most of you probably don't even remember this guy but he was one of the original characters from my very first set of mod reviews and he's here because he's brought along a few friends from the Mo Chickens mod for us to take a look at. So how are you doing buddy? It's been a long while. You're looking a little bit bigger, a little bit more vocal than before and it's nice. It's nice to see you back. Now Grim, I see you looking at him. Don't do it. Don't do it, buddy. Please don't do it. It's fine. We we're all friends here. And Treyoris, I don't think you've seen our new friend McDuck. I think he's doing a bit of repairs on this button here. And yeah, you come see him. You come see him. It's okay. Don't be too scared. Oh, fine. Fine. It's fine. So yeah, introductions out of the way. We need to go and look at some more chickens. Now, this is a really cool mod. And they've all been cooped up in here. Yes, bad joke. But anyway, they've all been cooped up in here. They're probably going to be pretty angry because these are all hostile mobs. But don't worry, you can tame them and they are very, very useful once tamed. Now, there is a chicken for every ore in your Minecraft world. So we have the coal chicken, the iron chicken, the gold chicken, the lapis chicken, the redstone chicken, the emerald chicken, and also finishing off with the diamond chicken. Now, we're going to spawn one of each of these in and see how they react to us because they can be quite aggressive, as I just mentioned, before they are tamed. And they have been on a very long journey to come and see us, so I can't really blame them. But we're gonna we're gonna kind of bring them in one at a time and see what they're going to do to us. So let's bring in the cold chicken first. He's a nice black kind of chicken. He's only got four health, and when he attacks, he will do um, half a heart of damage, and he will also give us slowness two for seven seconds. So please back off now. You're a bit scary. You're a bit scary. We're just gonna slay him down. There we go. Slay him down beautiful. So we're going to just take them down one by one and then we're going to spawn more in and then show why you'd even want these in your Minecraft world because for one, they're just going to hurt you to be honest. They are just going to hurt you but then they do have another useful use. So let's bring in the iron chicken. He is kind of looking like a normal chicken but he's got like a bit of a goldy kind of texture I guess. It's a little bit um, more cream than white. So this is the iron chicken has six health. Will do one heart of damage and wow he poisons you. Oh that's fast. Oh god that's fast. Please don't let me die. Not today. Not today, please. Not by a chicken either. Jesus, he was a bit aggressive. I didn't expect him to be that aggressive. You need to watch out for those ones. Not only do they look like normal chickens, but they will poison you and try to try to kill you. 
That was a bit offensive. I, I was not a fan of that. But anyway, let's move on to the next one. And this one is the gold chicken. And this one's nice and yellow. Very cute. And um, has eight health. And when attacked, you will gain... Oh, Jesus. You will gain blindness for eight seconds. So this guy is also a bit aggressive. These do drop eggs, by the way. I don't think normal chickens drop eggs. So that's quite an interesting feature. I'm pretty sure these eggs will only spawn normal chickens. But yeah, the gold chicken will give you blindness for eight seconds. Moving on up, and we've got the lapis chicken, which is obviously bright blue. He only has four health, so we're going down again. But he does a little bit more damage and will give you slowness again. So how much? No, Grim. Grim. Oh, actually, get him. Get him. <laughs> Jesus. I, I knew I needed some help from you at some point. You can you can kill this chicken, but not McDuck, okay? Just leave McDuck alone. If this satisfies your predatory actions, then that's fine. That is fine. Um, right, let's move on to the next one. The next one is the redstone chicken it's really cool that you like leaped through the door and helped me there that's really cool so the redstone chicken we have six health and he's also a beautiful red color and what are you gonna do to ow he sets me on fire he does give me speed though so it's kind of like a really uh, that's really cool it's kind of like a cartoon help grim help i'm gonna die i'm gonna die grim 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 will you just help me thank you thank you i am going to die oh my god really really i burnt to a crisp while fighting a redstone chicken Okay, guys, we're back. That was a little bit embarrassing. Thank you, Grim, for killing that chicken. He had six health, was bright red, and hello? Hello? Anyone coming in? No? Okay. <laughs> and we're going to move on to the next chicken, which is the emerald chicken. Now, this emerald chicken is bright green, so you cannot miss this guy. Has 16 health, and for a chicken, that is quite a lot. And what is he going to do? He's going to hit us and inflict us with nausea. I hate this effect so much. Go on, Grim, get him. It's okay. Oh, God. Don't, don't bat him towards me. That's what happened last time. Jesus, there we go. Well done, Grim. So he gives you nausea for about eight seconds, which isn't too bad um, of a nausea effect, considering I hate that effect. It makes me feel so ill. But anyway, yeah, that is the Emerald Chicken. And finally, we have the Diamond Chicken, which has 20 health. That is pretty intense, about as much as a regular Minecraft mob has. And he will give you blindness and slowness. So this guy's going to bite you and then um, pretty much slow you down so that he can bite you even more. I can't see the destruction right. Ah! Oh my god, that's scary. No. Ow! Oh, Jesus, I thought Grim had killed him. Then he, he popped out of the darkness like a crazy, crazy fiend. But anyway, those are your chickens, and they will spawn randomly throughout your world. I would say the most dangerous ones, actually, was it the gold one that poisoned you and the redstone one, which sets you on fire because we died. We died. That's pretty, pretty aggressive. Thank you, Grim.